How's it going? This is Hoyman, and today we're taking a look at the Banpresto Fate Testarossa premium figure. So this is the packaging. So this is the front. Pretty standard, no wind or anything, but does show a clear shot of what the figure is. And down here you have the name and also the series that she's from. And inside, just more shots of the figure. Same on the other side. The bottom is the SQ logo, which is like this line of figure. Same on the top. So yeah, pretty standard, but I mean, it's for a prize figure, so it doesn't need to be like super extravagant or anything. Just a simple box will do. Even has these cutouts for the machine to lift out the figure as well. But um, yeah. So to open, you just simply open the top. And then inside is the actual figure itself, which is in a smaller box. And then you just open this part and then inside you just find some bubble wrapping and some separate bags to hold each piece of the figure. And that's because the figure itself is actually in separate pieces. So you get the main body, her pigtail parts for her hair, her lower body, and also her weapon, which comes in two parts. And then lastly, a display stand for her which has the copyright as well at the bottom. And the figure itself doesn't come with any instructions, but it's pretty self-explanatory how to put a figure together. So you just grab both parts of the body and just slide in like so. It's a very snug fit. And then for her hair, you can see there's two different shapes on either side. And you just have to find the right shape for the hair and then you just slot it in. But I have found that these are actually quite difficult to get in at first. You really have to push them in. And then same for the other side. Just have to line it up with the shape. And then give it a good push. And they fit snugly in. And then for the weapon, there's a little hole in her hand and also a little peg on the weapon itself. So you just have to line that up and then slot it in. It can be a bit tough since the hand is quite solid. But once you just push it in there, just push it into the hole. Line it up with the hand. Like so. Now it's just in there snugly. It won't move about or anything. And then you just add the, the axe part of the weapon. There's also a shape as well. You just have to line it up. And then gently push it in. Like so. And then for the base itself, there's pegs. Well, there's holes in her feet and then pegs on the stand. You just have to line those up and they fit snugly in. Of course I'm having difficulty now since it's on camera. But yeah, you just slot it in. Slot it in the other foot. And there we go. You have the actual figure all together fully assembled. So since it's a prize figure, they're on the more cheaper side to get nowadays. But even so, I have to say that the quality is actually very good. Like the plastic used is very high quality feeling. It doesn't feel cheap. There's actually some weight to the figure as well. And then there's even like translucent parts like on the axe, which really adds to the overall figure. 
And then, yeah, it just feels very sturdily made, very high quality and doesn't feel cheap at all. Unfortunately on mine, there is a bit of a scuff on the forehead here and a little bit of a scuff on her cape as well, just here. But other than that, the overall figure is very well detailed, feels very high quality and yeah, just overall very good for value. So yeah, that's my thoughts on the figure. Very well made figure, very high quality. If you're a fan of this character and this series, then I highly recommend getting this figure. Thank you for watching and enjoy some pictures. Thank you.